What's up gamers, it's Absurd here, and our prayers have been answered, exceeding expectations. That's right, we got an Armored Core 6 story trailer. A lot of people have been dooming about the lack of released marketing material for Fires of Rubicon, and I think most people were wanting more gameplay material, including info on multiplayer and some gameplay with the full HUD, and while all that would be great, I am far more pleased with what we got. I'm a story guy at heart. Gameplay is important, but it's story that touches my humanity. While FromSoft is off dehumanizing its AC pilots, at least they are treating the expectant fans as humans by giving us what all humans love. Story. And this story trailer is amazing. I reacted to it shortly after it came out, and that was a challenge. There is so much here that I was left speechless with my mind racing. So as promised, what you didn't get out of me there, you will get here. I've watched this trailer a couple dozen times at least and refined my thoughts on some key talking points for this video, though I'm sure that after another couple dozen watches I'll see even more that I missed here. But without further ado... Let's get to So right away we learn a lot. The first shot is us in a garage. We hear the voice of a scientist say, you again, referring to Handler Walter, implying that Walter is a repeat customer. It cuts to a scene in which three hounds, 617, 619, and 620, are on a mission for Walter. Because the scientist asks what happened to 617 and the others, it's implied that these three pilots were also acquired by Walter from this same scientist. But we gotta stop here and rewind. There is a lot more going on before we can get into the mission and Walter's other hounds. Going back to the second shot, we see a core part hanging in the garage. We know it's a core part by comparing it to the shape of the core parts of the other hounds in the trailer. More on that later. But for now, let's zoom into this frame. You can see small text stamped on the core. It reads, C4 Architecture 621-49 and finishes with a zero. This is huge. Recall back to the gameplay trailer. That's right, C4621. That's the model number of our core, and it's our identity. We are designated as a machine. This also implies that our life is only as important as the core it inhabits. Who are we if the core is destroyed? We are nothing. This extreme dehumanization goes even deeper. Soon we see a lab table with tubes and wires dangling down from what we soon learn is the body of 621. But one thin tube is transfusing a red liquid, not blood. We aren't dealing with a human here. It's transfusing coral into this undead, corpse-like being on the table, as the scientist comments about his inventory, implying that he sells these shells of a human being as a business. Not humans, products, with a model number. In this shot, we also see a probe or needle anchored and positioned above the frontal lobe of the brain for insertion. The frontal lobe of the brain is devoted to movement of the eyes and body, speech, and the expression of emotions. I'm not sure what specific area of the frontal lobe this needle could be targeting, but it's definitely the frontal lobe and the part of the brain most responsible for our human functions. I'm not a doctor, so correct me if I'm wrong. The next shot we get of the lab, which looks more like a garage, introduces us to two figures other than our body on the table. We see the scientist, who's not wearing a lab coat, and we see the shadow of who we assume to be Walter. 
It's interesting that the scientist isn't wearing a lab coat. A lab coat is a symbol of purity, sterility, and authority. But this scientist is wearing rags and furs like a mad scientist in a post-apocalyptic dystopia. Walter, however, based on the shadow, seems to be fitted in a well-tailored suit with a cane. I would expect no less from someone with his infamy and attitude. He is all business. That shot closes with Walter stating, Wake it up. Again, everything about this so far is utterly dehumanizing. We are a product and a tool to Walter, not even like a pet dog with gendered pronouns. The next shot we see of our husk, more of these needles are injected all over our body. Some appear to be in vital areas while others are on limbs. These are very likely electrodes that conduct signals from our body to the AC to monitor our vitals and motor function to control the movement of the armored core. The morbid device extracted from us in the next clip suggests that we are being taken off life support to be connected to our AC and awakened per Walter's request. The trailer closes with Walter stating he will give us a reason to exist, affirming that he is our god, our handler, and without him we are nothing. Very chilling stuff. In this closing shot we also see the model of our AC. And now is a good time to return to Squad Alpha and their mission because they have the exact same core and head part as us. They are part of the same product line, after all. Cookie cutter soldiers, other than their weapon selections anyway. Squad Alpha consists of 617, 619, and 620, making me wonder where 618 might be. Probably dead, but who knows. They are assaulting an objective that isn't thoroughly explained to us, other than the mission being complete once the Mega Laser Cannon is destroyed. 619 and 620 fall in battle, and it appears that 617 is the leader, calling out combat commands and status reports. 617 is also the most badass, literally wrestling this mega tank that pops out of the ground and administering IV lead from the minigun before proceeding to assault armor and destroy the mega cannon. This dog puts in work. Based on how epically cinematic this narrative is, I'm not going to get into any gameplay speculation. 617 did some dope shit that I highly doubt has any controller inputs. Despite being a cinematic badass, 617 seems significant for other reasons. They were the only survivor, which could imply, based on the model numbers, that the early products are more effective. Or maybe they are just more experienced. Because 617 survives, I expect that we haven't seen the last of them. Now, I might be crazy here, but let me know if you think this voice sounds like a dehumanized, stripped down robotic form of this voice. One of the infamous handler Walter sounds. This AC from the gameplay trailer does have a hound emblem and knows of the infamous handler Walter. Could it be that this is 617, perhaps gone rogue? That would be insanely awesome. Either way, I expect 617 will show up again, either as an ally, an enemy, or both, depending on the story and its branching paths. Since we are matching up voiceover dialogue, I want to shout out a community member, OK, who noticed that the voice of the scientist is the same voice in this clip from the gameplay trailer. Call sign Raven. Priority subject for termination. High on the list. No, I'm not exactly craving company here. This implies, as OK mentions, that we break free of Walter's shackles and now our original creator wants us dead as our model is defective. 
that will be a fun plot. The final thing I want to touch on is the Mega Cannon central to the mission. The cannon looks like it's protecting something. There is a vast cliff spanning the entire combat zone, with a single cannon passing through it. With all the tech we have seen in the trailers so far, getting over a cliff shouldn't be much of a problem. But maybe the cannon is protecting what's inside the canyon. We have this one shot that looks like the inside of a canyon from the gameplay trailer, but it's really hard to tell what's going on there. It may be something to do with coral mining, but we don't get much context for the assets here. These could be passageways between the rocks, or jacks to keep the two sides from closing together, or any number of things. I have no idea what the hanging cages are or what's in them, but it seems important, especially if this area is being protected by the cannon. And with those last bits of unhinged speculation, I've exhausted my theories from the first day of watching the new trailer. Let me know what you think in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'll see you hounds in the next one.